uh, colleagues in the Senate, I saw in my emails this morning that Lieutenant Governor Reynolds today is attending a jobs event at 3 p.m. And I know you're all on pins and needles to know about that jobs event. It's the press conference for McDonald's National Day of Hiring. I don't have any problem with Lieutenant Governor Reynolds celebrating with McDonald's on its National Day of Hiring. It is what it is. I'm an occasional customer of McDonald's. It serves a role in our economy. And I guess it's just fine. But it raises a bigger question. Where are the other jobs events? And more importantly, where are the jobs? And just as importantly, where are the good jobs? Governor Branstad has now been in office for 13 weeks. The first quarter of his administration. If Governor Branstad wants to stay on pace to create 200,000 jobs over five years, at this point, Iowa should have created 10,000 jobs. If he wants to raise family income by 25% over five years, at this point, every family should have had a raise of 1.25%. 13 weeks, 10,000 jobs, 1.25% raise for every Iowan. I don't hear it. I don't see it. I don't feel it. Maybe there's just a giant sucking sound out there, but I don't, I don't feel the mojo on today's National Day of Hiring at McDonald's. On today's National Day of Hiring, I think it's appropriate for us to ask, do the jobs that are being created pay a living wage? Do they provide health benefits? Is there job security? Is there an opportunity to advance? Governor Branstad and Lieutenant Governor Reynolds, I am not opposed to job creation at McDonald's. It does serve a purpose in our economy. But jobs at McDonald's, even 200,000 jobs at McDonald's, will not fix Iowa's economy economic problems or address the economic needs of Iowans. At the same time, I got another email this morning telling me that the Iowa City School District will reduce 22 teacher positions. In my school district in Cedar Rapids, the district is reducing staff by 61. Statewide, the total reduction in education staff due to 0% allowable growth is estimated at more than 1,500. So, while Lieutenant Governor Reynolds is promoting jobs at McDonald's on the National Day of Hiring, Governor Branstad is forcing local schools to get rid of 1,500 teachers and other school workers due to 0% allowable growth. Governor Branstad replacing teaching jobs with jobs at McDonald's is a bad economic development strategy and it won't work. It's bad for students, it's bad for teachers, it's bad for families, and it's bad for Iowa's economy. There is a better way, Governor Branstad. Senate Democrats, with often bipartisan support, have offered a different direction, a better way. In addition to 2% allowable growth, we've offered business health care tax credits to help businesses create good jobs with benefits. We've offered solar and wind tax credits. We've offered brownfield and grayfield tax credits, bus business commercial property tax reductions, assistance for students to take certificate programs to move from unemployment and un underemployment to better jobs. Again, what's been the response from downstairs? Silence, maybe that giant sucking sound again. So today, while Lieutenant Governor Reynolds celebrates with McDonald's on their National Day of Hiring, let me just say that Senate Democrats, and I think many senators in this chamber, are willing to work with Governor Branstad to create real jobs, good jobs, 200,000 new good-paying jobs here in Iowa. But 
laying off or firing or getting rid of 1,500 teachers and school employees is not the way to start. Thank you, Mr. President.